Hi guys, welcome to Shorty Home Cooking. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. So the dish I'm making today is nikujaga, the Japanese style meat and potato stew. As the name says, you can use any kind of meat. Today I'm using beef. First of all, I'm going to prepare the vegetables. Number one, the onion. So of course you have to remove the skin first, then get rid of the root. This time I'm gonna slice it. Not too thick, not too thin. Let's say about half to one centimeter thick. And the next vegetable today is carrot. And again, you start with peeling the skin. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. This peeler saves me a lot of time. Thank you so much. Then you cut off both ends. Then you start cutting into a bite size. What's important here is to try to make the size of each pieces equal so that it's gonna be cooked very evenly. So the carrot, done. And uh, number three vegetables, potato, everybody's favorite. And the name of this dish comes from potato actually. We call this jagaimo in Japan. And the word niku, it refers to any kinds of meat. So as long as you've got potato and meat in the dish, that is one proper niku jaga. And here I'm removing the potato eyes. It is said it's actually a little poisonous. Then, same as the carrot, cutting into an equal bite size. Always keep that in your mind. And the last vegetable, snow peas. Pinch the head and pull off the string. Easy peasy piece of cake. And get a deep pot. Turn the gas on, put the vegetable oil. And it's so nice to see you, Mr. Sliced Beef. Then you give it a good stir. After that, you take this off the heat. I'll see you soon, Beef. Into the same pot, add potato, carrot, and onion. This is because all the umami flavor from the beef is left in the pot. Then you pour some water into the pot. Then I'm adding this dashi powder. I think you can find one at a big supermarket. Next, add cooking sake and sugar. Usually I don't add soy sauce at this stage. It's because the sweetness takes more time to get absorbed into the vegetables. Oh, by the way, I'm removing some of the burnt beef bits. And in the meantime, prepare a boiling water, add a pinch of salt, and you start boiling the snow peas. The reason why I put salt into the pot is not to season the green pea, is to make this green more vivid and beautiful. Here I'm sticking skewer into a potato to see if it's cooked or not. And finally I'm adding soy sauce. And by the way, this deep sound in the background is a rice cooker telling me that rice is cooked. To eat with Nikujaga after filming. Here comes the beef back. Welcome back. Oh, now it's starting to look fascinating. I'm adding some extra soy sauce to taste. Then I'm adding mirin, sweet cooking sake, to balance the flavor. Then it is officially ready to serve.
So it was all for this moment. Enjoy it. Yes, I will. What I love about this dish is the saltiness, sweetness, and the umami. It's all nicely balanced. This reminds me of my mom's cooking. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll see you in the next one. Matane, bye bye.